In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up and use the free SSL certificate that's provided to all HostGator customers, regardless of the hosting plan you're on. This is a new feature that HostGator only recently bought in. You used to have to pay for SSL certificates, but now they're giving everyone one for free. This is really good news because not having an SSL certificate could have a negative effect on your search engine rankings and possibly even on the conversion rate on your website. So I'd recommend that if you're a HostGator customer, you need to watch this video and you need to get your SSL certificate up and running as quickly as possible. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Now, before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you as part of the WP Eagle family. To join, it's very easy. Just click on the red button below, the subscribe button, and click the bell, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos, which tends to be every single week. So, HostGator are giving everyone a free SSL certificate. Woohoo! This is great news, because as I mentioned in the introduction, not having an SSL certificate could have a negative effect on your search engine rankings. And it could also uh, be a problem when it comes to conversion and keeping visitors on your site. The reason for this is that the Google Chrome browser, which is one of the most popular browsers out there, the one that I think the largest percentage of people use to browse the web, Google Chrome is gonna bring in a feature, I think it's in the next month or so, where when a visitor is browsing a site that does not have an SSL certificate, they're gonna get like a warning message saying, you know, this site is not secure, you could, you know, have your data compromised, all that kind of stuff. Basically scare people off, and you don't want people being scared off uh, from your website. So setting up your SSL is gonna be an essential part of running a website. So what is an SSL certificate? Basically, it just allows people to connect to your site over an encrypted, secure connection. When people are browsing your site, they'll get the nice little green padlock in their address bar, and it will say HTTPS, and they'll feel all nice and safe and warm and secure, which is of course what you want. Now HostGator have already installed the SSL certificates on everyone's account, uh, well at least they should have done anyway. So it's just a case of setting up WordPress so that it uses the SSL certificate and uh, so that people can't access the unsecure version of your site. I'm gonna set up a certificate on Boot Boutique, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites I created in a tutorial quite some time ago. It's not currently running um, an SSL certificate, so I thought it'd be a good site to do. So let's get on the computer and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique, which as I mentioned is one of my Amazon affiliate sites that I created in a tutorial quite some time ago. I'll put some links to uh, various tutorials around my Amazon affiliate sites in the description of this video if you're interested in checking those out. So this site is on the basic HostGator plan. I think it's called Hatchling. It's the cheapest one you can get. And hopefully HostGator have already installed my SSL certificate. It's something they were gonna just do for everyone automatically. Um, but we do need to check that it has been installed and that it's working before we you know, tell WordPress that we're using HTTPS. Otherwise, it will just break the site, which is, is not what you want to do. So the best way to check if the certificate is working is to go and log into your site. So I'll log into mine now. So you go over to WP Admin, you put username and password in and you log in. And it should just log in. Why is that not working? Let's try again. No idea. <laughs> Second time is a treat. And then when you're um, in your dashboard like this, what you want to do is come up to your address bar and before your URL, you want to just type in HTTP S, the S stands for secure, and then a colon, and then a slash, and then a slash. So it's like that, and then it's your domain, and then it's WP admin. So we're, we're going to try and look at this dashboard over a secure connection. So I'm just going to press enter. Now it's taking me back to the login screen, which is fine because I was logged into the unsecure version of the website and now it wants me to log into the secure version of the website, which is fine. But the main thing that we wanna check is this bit up here. So now we've got this lovely green padlock, the HTTPS is green. That means your certificate is installed and it's working. Now, if you don't get this green padlock with the word secure and this green HTTPS, 
then yeah, and it's grey or whatever, and you, or you get some error message saying that certificate is not installed or there's some problem, then you're just gonna need to raise a um, ticket or a live chat with HostGator and just ask them to take a look at that. But fingers crossed it should all be fine. Then you just need to log back in again. And now we're viewing the dashboard over a secure connection. And yeah, it's all good. So what we need to do is just install a very simple plugin that's gonna switch everything over to HTTPS. So all the pages, posts, and, and the whole site basically. So let me just close some of these messages. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to plugins and then add new. And then in the keyword box, I'm gonna type in simple SSL like that. And it's this plugin here called Really Simple SSL. Got this picture of this padlock. Click Install Now. Then Activate. And then we're done. It says we're almost ready to migrate to SSL. It says it's recommended to take a backup. Uh, you can do that, it's up to you. If you wanna learn how to do that, then just check the channel for a video. In fact, I'll put a link to it in the description so you can easily find it. I recommend a plugin called Updraft to do your backups. but. To be fair, you'll be fine. Um, as long as you've checked that you've got this green when you're in the dashboard on HTTPS, you should be fine. So let's just uh, leave this tick box ticked and click go ahead and activate SSL. And then we're all done. Let's have a quick look. So now we're on the site, we've got the green padlock and we've got the green HTTPS and if I try to access the site over a connection that's not secure, so just the HTTP connection, it should automatically just switch me over to the secure connection, he says. Let's see, and there we go. That's all fine and then if we you know, just check out some pages, whatever, see if they're okay. There we go, it's all fine. Now there's a couple of other things that you might want to do. And this applies to those of you that are running Google Analytics and uh, if you've got your site registered with Google Webmaster Console. So let's start with Google Analytics. I'm just gonna log into Analytics. And here we are. So what we need to do, uh, you can see currently it's set to just um, track the HTTP um, site. Basically you've just gotta think that there's kind of two separate sites, the HTTP site and then the HTTPS site. They're seen by Google and other things as two separate sites. Um, so it's, we just wanna switch everything over to the HTTPS. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the little cog down here and then in um, my property settings, where it's got default URL, we can just go on this uh, drop down, switch over to HTTPS, just like that. And then click save. There we go, that's all done. So that's um, Google Analytics done. When it comes to Webmaster Console, which is a great thing to set up and you should do it if you haven't done it already. So I'm gonna go log into Webmaster Console, I'm just gonna do a search. Oh, don't need to, it's that one there, google.com slash webmasters. Let's sign in. So here is Boot Boutique. Now basically with Webmaster Console, what you need to do is basically add another site and, and remove this one. Um, there's no way of kind of switching this to the HTTPS. So I'm gonna do that now, I'm just gonna remove this. Then I'm gonna come up to the top and go add property. Then I'm gonna type in HTTPS colon slash slash boot boutique. I think that's right, there's no www. You wanna make sure that it matches um, exactly. Let me just check, yeah. Sometimes I can't remember whether I've got a www or not. No, exactly like that. I mean, if it's easier, just copy and paste it, then you know you can't get it wrong like that. Uh, and then click add. Now we just need to verify that we own the website. Now the easiest way to do this is with Google Analytics. So if you've just done the step that we just did where you've got your Google Analytics and all that set up, you'll be fine and all you need to do is click verify. There are other ways to do it if you're not running Google Analytics, but that's the easiest. So that's done. And then we're just gonna wanna add our sitemap. Now this is gonna vary depending on the um, plugin and things that you're running, but if you followed any of my tutorials, then I generally recommend Yoast SEO. 
I'm just gonna go into um, crawl and then sitemaps. And then let me just log in here and let me just double check the, uh, the sitemap address. Pretty sure it's sitemap underscore index, but let me just be sure. So in e SEO, which is part of Yoast SEO, in general, then go to features, then XML sitemaps. If I just click on that, I can click here to see the XML sitemap, and there it is. It's, it is slash sitemap underscore index.xml. So if we come back to Webmaster Console, click add, I'm just gonna paste that in. I don't need that slash, there's already a slash there. And submit, and then we're done. So that's the site all switched over to HTTPS. We're nice and secure. People aren't gonna get any scary error messages or warnings when they visit the site and it should hopefully do well in the Google search results because Google absolutely love secure websites. But yeah, that's it. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. I hope you've now got a nice secure SSL'd up website. If you've got any problems or questions or comments or anything like that, then do leave them below this video in the comment section. And I'll do my best to read and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, then just click on the eagle up there and you'll be subscribed. Click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. There is another video um, which you might wanna check out. It shows in especially for you. And somewhere around here is a link to my other channel. Go check it out. Until next time, bye for now.